In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix HyperX Alloy Origins. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to give you easy to follow instructions on how to properly fix a lot of common issues attributed to your HyperX Alloy Origins. So, first, if the keyboard is not working or it is unresponsive, the first thing that you should do, which is the most basic one, is to ensure that the USB cable is securely plugged into the keyboard and your computer. So give it a wiggle, make sure that it is properly plugged in all the way, and you can also try using a different USB port. Oftentimes, this will help make sure that the cable is properly plugged into your PC and the keyboard itself. Next, you can update your keyboard drivers to the latest version. There are two ways to do this. The one that I recommend is to go over to the HyperX website, hover over support, and download the Ingenuity software. Through Ingenuity, you will be able to customize a lot of settings about your keyboard and also make sure that the firmware and drivers are up to date. So this will be automatically done on the background as soon as you open HyperX Ingenuity. Alternatively, you can also try right-clicking the Windows icon and going over to the Device Manager. In here, you should see every single device connected to your PC, including the HyperX keyboard. If you don't see it listed here, or if you see a generic name, it could mean that the HyperX keyboard is not being detected. If that is the case, then you should try using a different USB port or even a different cable. Oftentimes, you could have a faulty cable connecting into the keyboard and into your PC. So to rule this out, try connecting it to a different device. If it gets picked up, then the problem could be attributed to your PC. If you see it here, you can also try right-clicking, updating the drivers, or uninstalling the device, and then re-plugging it in. If all else fails, then sadly, you could indeed have a faulty keyboard. What I would recommend is to unplug it and try to do some throw cleaning. Cleaning. So clean the keyboard keys and switches with compressed air or a soft brush. You will be able to remove a lot of dust and debris and do the same with the connectors without going too hard. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix HyperX Alloy Origins. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.